you know, I, I grew up in downtown Gary, Indiana uh, a long time ago. Uh, I went to Emerson High School in Gary and we'd play Valparaiso High School and uh, basketball and uh, baseball. Uh, and I worked for U.S. Steel for 36 years. The, the corporation moved me around the country. We were living in San Francisco and the, the, the corporation uh, moved me to Chicago. And I'm from Gary, my wife's from Hammond, and we started looking for homes and my heart, I don't think, and my wife's heart wasn't really in living in Illinois. And finally one day my wife uh, went out, hooked up with a realtor for, for a day in Valparaiso. Now this is, this is two months into looking for houses. And um, for the first time, we, she came to Valparaiso, and um, the real estate agent took her around and showed her a couple of houses, and she said, you know, I think I know exactly, and, and I have exactly the house that you're going to be interested in. And the next day, she took, took her and showed her the house that we've been living in now for 30 years. Uh, so we have uh, loved Valparaiso absolutely stumbled into uh, just an ideal location where, where, where we live. Uh, Mike, our, our son, and, and I were having dinner one evening. On a, it was a Sunday night, and I don't know what, we had probably been golfing the, somewhere that day, and we decided to go to 157 uh, for, for dinner. Here I'm, I'm having dinner with my son outside uh, in downtown Valparaiso as the sun was going down and the lights were coming on in town. And, and, and I, I looked at Mike and I said, you know, if we were in right in this setting, if we were in California, if we were in Colorado, we'd be saying, man, this is great. And here we have it in, a, in our own backyard. And, and we take it for granted a lot, but if, if that that evening it just hit me, I said, you know, "This this is this is what people take vacations to to be able to enjoy, and we have it here. We have it in our own community, and uh, it, it's a remarkable place." This this session down there, we we passed the, a bill called the Ileana Bill, um, and uh, that is um, I, the, the concept. I think is is absolutely. Great. It, it's very forward-thinking, a very creative way for for the state of Indiana to build infrastructure at a time when when uh, the state revenues are in the tank. I mean, everybody's revenue is in the tank. It's a, a public-private partnership, which will allow the state to go out and and get private investors to invest their money. We're going to be building. Uh, state infrastructure with other people's money. What a great concept, and, and what a what a great point in time. And and that was something that flew through the the Senate uh, without one negative vote being uh, uh, cast at any point in, in the process. Where so you have Republicans and Democrats. It was a nonpartisan. This really makes sense for the state of Indiana, particularly at at this point in time. You read about the, the real contentious, the really volatile issues that, uh, that there isn't agreement on, when I would say in the vast majority of the cases, the, the legislation that we pass is, is, is almost unanimous. Uh, it is more likely than not out of the 50 senators, you're going to get 40 plus votes in favor of most all legislation that that comes through the system. No matter what, what our business is, you know, whether it's government, whether it's running Valpo Life, we're in the business of people and in relationships, and and we need to be focusing more and more on the good things, the good people, because they far outnumber, far outweigh the bad stuff that we 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 just seem to, to hear about all the time.